Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. The last thing we need to fill out for degree of freedom one is actually any load associated with it or external load. So, degree of freedom one, we can see that there's no external load placed in it. It's free to move and we've got no load. So it's just going to be zero. We're now going to come and fill in this table for every other single uh, degree of freedom. So for degree of freedom two, we're over here and we know that for vertical degrees of freedom, we're looking at sine. So we know it's going to be sine subscript something. So we're looking now N1, so the axial load in member 1. So it would be sine, and member 1 spans from B to A. So it's going to be sine BA. Now, for degree of freedom 2, it's contribution from member 2. So member 2, degree of freedom 2, we start there. And we know that it's going to be sine because it's vertical. Degree of freedom 2 is vertical. So it's going to be sine B to C. Okay, so sine B, C. And the external load at um, degree of freedom 2, that's uh, given as positive. Up is positive. Up is positive. So plus. So we're going 1,000 kilonewtons down. So we're going to have a load of minus 1,000 kilonewtons. Degree of freedom 3, so we're now over here. We want to know the contribution from N1 or the axial load in member 1. Because member 1 doesn't touch mem uh, degree of freedom 3, its contribution is 0. So that's 0. Degree of so now we're in it for member 2, degree of freedom 3. So member 2, degree of freedom 3, degree of freedom 3 is horizontal, which means we know we're dealing with a cos. So it's going to be cos subscript. Degree of uh, member 2 spans from C to B. So it's going to be cos subscript CB. Cos subscript CB. The external load. So at 3, uh, we don't know the load. There's going to be some type of reaction. So we're just going to call that the, um, the reaction H subscript C, or the horizontal reaction at C. So degree of freedom 4, we're now dealing with a vertical member. Um, so we know it's going to be sine subscript something. The same thing applies here though. For member 1, member 1 doesn't touch degree of freedom 4. It's up here, it doesn't touch degree of freedom 4. So its contribution is going to be 0.